All right, my hair is colored and dried. I did notice that I missed a few gray hairs in the front where I sectioned it off so that I wouldn't lose my highlights in the front. And see, it is lighter on the ends, which I kind of wanted. We'll see when I back off if I look like a hoe bag. So I'm gonna do a makeup look that makes me look, that makes my new hair color look nice. How about that? So you say, look over here, look over here. Don't look at the shitty home hair dye. All right, I'm using the Scott Barnes Multimedia. It's, it's suspended in an oil. I'm going to take this and stick it down in there and get some of the pigment like this and put it on my palette. And I'm going to apply it with my optical blur blurring brush from Urban Decay. Yeah, we're gonna start with foundation this time. Why? I guess because I was unsure how I was going to go about this and well, it matches really well. I like that. How long have I had this foundation? I bet I've had this foundation at least five years. Oh, it's hot in here. Hold on. My legs are sweating. I like the coverage. I like the coverage and I like the color. The color is blissfully beige. Oh, good golly, it's hot in here. Might have to go get some ice water so I can cool off my, my core temperature. I wanted just to use it all up off the palette. Got it all off the, off the stick, the spatula. That's, a, that's called spatty. And I get it on Amazon. I was using this end to get the dregs out of a bottle of Born This Way. And you'd be surprised how much you keep getting after you think it's used up. The foundation, it just keeps pulling it off the sides of the bottle. It was more than used up according to what most of you would, at, at the point most of you, at the point which most of you would throw it away. All right, since I use Scott Barnes foundation, let's use Scott Barnes eyeshadow. This is the palette I'm using. I'm gonna take a bedellium brush and I'm gonna take the color bisque and I'm going to, I've been liking the cat eye thing. I'm gonna drag it out to the side I usually do a round eye. You know, I just go. I do just like that. And this is the color Bisque from the Snatural palette. I would say the fox eye goes more up. This goes more out. I don't know. Is that the way you would differentiate it? We'll blow it out on the inside like this. I'm going to take the color Laced on a wet brush since we're, I'm doing the wet brush technique again today with my Fix Plus. And I'm gonna pat that on my lid. That looks good. That is the laced. Now I'm gonna take a pencil brush, if I can find one. Somebody came in here and stole all my pencil brushes. Found one. I'm gonna take the color Brick House. And I'm gonna look straight into the mirror. Mirror. And I'm going to cat eye it out this way. <laughs> it can be a verb, cat eye it. 
The color is Brick House. You'll, in a minute, I'll show you the inspiration for the colors I chose. I'm still looking straight into the mirror. You know, it's very difficult to put eyeshadow on a bride with this method. Because every time you come towards them with a brush, they go, you open your eyes, and I go to do their eyes, and they go, keep them open. <laughs> so if their, their cat eye doesn't end up going in the right direction, it's not my fault. Keep your eyes open. If you can't follow instructions, look up. No, with just your eyes. <laughs> I probably have lost some of my people skills during the pandemic. I probably need counseling. I'm actually willing to put up with anything if they don't make me wear a mask. You know what I mean, Vern? Okay. Now I'm going to take the color Vintage and run that along the edge to soften that out. Now I'm going to take my pencil brush, take Brick House again. be a little more deliberate underneath the eyes and in the lash line on top. Now for my under my brows. I'm going to take retro. Now for my brows. If you'll recall this palette has a color in it that I love using for brows. It's called Temptation. I'm going to use a E06 from Sigma. I wet it with the Fix Plus. And I'm going to draw some brow hairs on. And I'm going to draw a straight line under here. As if my eyebrows had been waxed perfectly underneath, which they haven't. Because they always want to wax my eyebrows off. I don't want my eyebrows waxed off. Lift it so I can get that line underneath. I'm liking those brows so far. So yesterday it really took it out of me when I went to the beach. It was super hot and it was the early part of the day. You know, it was before tw I left before 12. I left at 11. So today I'm staying in the house and getting some things done. I'm not going to wear myself out with the heat. There goes the naked man. The one that walks without a shirt on. This is Night Moth. Get those corners real good. Something about this is annoying me, so I'm softening it. Now we need brow gel. I'm going to add soap today. Yesterday I didn't add soap and my brows weren't stiff enough. I guess I don't want them to look natural. Now I'll take my brow pencil again and fix that hole that I always make right here. All right, let's do some mascara. I'm gonna curl my lashes first. Then I'm gonna put on a little bit of Lash Paradise. Then I'm going to comb through them.
This is my Dellium brush from my bamboo set, the pink, the pink bamboo set. There. I'm thirsty, hold on. This is actually not gonna help my thirst. It's a, it's an ice latte. I don't have any Scott Barnes mascara. So we're using Fenty because it's right here. Actually, <laughs> it would be more apropos to use Tom Ford since it would be the same gender. <laughs> All right, so this is the Tom Ford Badass Mascara. So my latte has espresso that I'm, I make with my espresso machine using the Lavazza espresso grounds. And then I put some half and half in there and some stevia and shook it all about. I didn't feel like pulling out the blender. I put it in my shaky bottle, you know, the kind of bottle that you would use to shake up a protein shake. No, I don't, I don't drink protein shakes. They have all kinds of garbage in it that would mess up my metabolism. I get my, I get enough protein at night. I had, last night I had ground beef, two eggs over easy, and bubble water. All right, and I, I in case, I, the, for some reason it quit recording. So just in case you missed it, I went with bat, uh, Badass Mascara by Tom Ford because we were sticking with the same gender. <laughs> Scott Barnes, Tom Ford. Okay. That eye look is a little cooler than what I, I know. It doesn't look cool to you, but it does look kind of cool to me. But drag this down just a little bit. All right, let's do some under eye brightener. I like to use Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the color brightener. Put it up the center of my nose. Keep its bow. I'm going to take a non, a no-name brand brush and buff that in. It really doesn't, it's too little. I'm used to, I use the pencil torch uh, from Urban Decay in my, in my waterline. I pulled out the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette, and I'm going to I'm need, I'm going to contour with it. Contour my nose right there, right there, right there. I'm taking the three lighter colors of the bronzing contour, mixing them, these three, this one, this one, and this one. I'm not touching this one. I'm mixing those. And doing bronzer. And this is the Sigma very soft, soft blend concealer, soft angled contour, F23. Very nice brush. Okay, and I'm gonna take this and drag out to the side. I'm gonna take my handy dandy Morphe M143 and see this peach color right here? Well, I'm going to run it through that color. We'll see if we get a highlight. I'm thinking it'll probably be too, too tame for my, my taste. It, even though it looks peach in the pan, it still looks a little bit cool for my complexion. 
I'm going to run it down the middle of my nose. Cupid's bow. That's where I put the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind right there. All right. That's okay. But I do like the color of the bronzing port. Brontour portion. I'm going to go back to the contour, the Scott Barnes eyeshadow kit. And I'm going to pick out something that I can use as a blush and something that I can use as a highlight. Because I don't have either one of those things from Scott Barnes. I'm going to take the color, I'm going to take the color Bisque and the color Boudoir and mix them together on my brush. Pat it on the back of my hand. Put it there as... as a blush. Boudoir and bisque. Then I'm going to take my powder brush with no powder on it and diffuse it like that. Then I'm going to take my handy dandy highlight brush and I'm going to take Siren. See if I can get A better highlight. Actually it's just getting muddy because I keep putting so much product up there. I'm going when it starts getting too too much, take your powder brush, make sure it's clean. And you buff it down. Okay, now I'm going to take, when the camera cut off, I was switching over from that no-name brand brush to back to my soft blend concealer brush that I always use. That's this, the F64. That looks pretty good. Let's put on some more badass mascara. Alright, there you go. I need a little more highlight on the end of my nose. I put Angelic on the end of my nose. I do like the way the under eyes look. Now I'm going to put on the Scott Barnes lip gloss if I can. Ah, oh, there it is. This is Princess Peach. And if that's just too boring, we can add Siren to the center. So there's my new hair color and a makeup look to go with it. And I'll show you what my inspiration was for these colors on my eyes. I have on my new bike shorts. I don't have on my LNA t-shirt that I bought to go with this. Because it's a cute black shirt and I'm saving it for when I go when I go to do makeup. Because I wear I like to wear black when I go to do makeup. This, this outfit was the inspiration for the, for the eye makeup. In the comments, let me know what Scott Barnes products you have. Do you have the blush? Do you have the highlights? Do you have a different kit other than the Snatural One? 
Uh, what products do you have by Scott Barnes and do you think I should get more? Y'all have a great evening and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow night and I also enjoy the conversation in the comments. Take care. Ta-ta.